Hello, I'm going to uh, read you day 14 and uh, it's called Competition Kills. And um, just to give you a heads up, I'm on vacation in Arizona and I'm sitting down here at the pool and it's nighttime and there's a lot of kids down here, a lot of people swimming. So we'll try and get through this. If it doesn't turn out good, then we'll just redo it, okay? So I'm reading out of the book, the Position of Your Heart and the healing of a nation. Day 14, competition kills. Rivalry and competition produce jealousy, envy, anger, and rebellion. James 3.16 says, For wherever there is jealousy, envy, and contention, rivalry, and selfish ambition, there will also be confusion, unrest, disharmony, rebellion, and all sorts of evil and vile practices. I have often wondered why there is so much jealousy and disharmony amongst the body of Christ. I thought we were all working for the kingdom of God. In 1 Corinthians 12, <clears throat> Christ compares the church to a body. He says there are many members or parts but one body, and that's how it should be with the body of Christ. Each part has a proper place and has a very important function. Yet by itself, it cannot accomplish much. Each part is dependent upon every other part doing what they are designed to do. When you operate out of a spirit of competition, you contaminate what God is trying to do. Look what it did to Cain and Abel. It led to murder. Genesis 4 tells the story of how Cain rose up and killed his brother. Then he lied to God and became a vagabond and a wanderer. If harbored, this spirit will cause you to not be able to connect and align properly in the body. Your critical spirit will lead to pride and rebellion, and you will become a renegade, as you see yourself better than or above others. You will think that what you bring to the Lord is superior to others. In our physical bodies, there is no competition between the feet and the hands. That would just be dumb, wouldn't it? What if the foot says, I want to be a hand? If you attached your foot to your hand, would it function as well? How about I take my eye and I put it where my foot goes or take my heart and place it where my liver is? No, it wouldn't work at all that way. In the same way, there's no room for competition in the body of Christ. When we are truly walking with the Lord, you will not compete against other believers or churches. Competition breeds strife which is one of the things that God hates. Competition sows discord among the brethren. It will cause you to talk about others and criticize them and try to turn others against them. It will cause you to release cursings instead of blessings on people. When each person is doing what God has called them to do, there will be no competition. You will honor each other and lift them up and value what they do. Each person has a place and an assignment in the body of Christ. You have already been graced for that assignment by God. When you try and step out of your graced place, it becomes a sloppy mess. How would it work if you walked on your eye or you tried to eat with your ear? It wouldn't work that way at all because that's not how God designed it to be. I know that sounds funny, but that's what it looks like when we are out of place and not functioning in the body of Christ like God created us to function. We, need, we each need to learn to be what God has created us to be and to function in the fullness of what He has for us. Don't look around at others and compare yourself to them or you will become critical and start looking for anything in them that will make them look bad and you look good. Don't become critical and start trying to correct others by telling them what they are doing wrong or what they should do differently. That's not your place. This works for us individually and also corporately and is for churches and denominations as well. We should all be focused on Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us and not be critical of others because God gave them a different assignment than he gave you. Galatians 5.15 says, But if you bite and devour one another, 
in partisan strife. Partisan is to fight against one another in secret. Be careful that you, you and your whole fellowship are not consumed by one another. The spirit of competition strives to be number one. It tears down others with evil words. We've seen a lot of this in the church. It's a stench in the nostrils of God. He, he hates it. It causes character assassination, broken hearts, and even wars. It will cause people to hate God and the church. God does not desire that you live this way. It's time to uncover these sins in your heart and discover how to rightly respond to those who treat you this way. Every believer has an assignment for the kingdom. God helps us all to stay where we are called. God has the perfect place for you. It's designed especially for you, nobody else. It's God's desire for you to, to discover what makes you unique. God is calling for unity or a oneness among his believers. I hate to disappoint you, but there will not be denominations in heaven. So we might want to learn to get along now and honor each other for the gifts of God that we each have. Everything that God has placed his seal on is important. What you carry for the body of Christ is valuable. God has a specific assignment designed only for you. Continue to seek God's will for your life and your place in the body of Christ and know that what God has created you to do is important and significant for advancing the kingdom of God. I find that sometimes people think they are not valuable or useful to the kingdom of God. That's a lie. Never believe that you can't make a difference. One of the biggest lies that Satan tells people is that they can't make a difference. Yes, you can. Here's a few pointers for you. Keep your focus on God. Put God first in everything you do. Stay in the Word. Pray in the Spirit. Worship continuously. Do not engage with this spirit. You will become angry and harbor a murderous spirit. You will become a renegade and a vagabond, a wanderer. You will not be able to connect properly in the body of Christ. God is preparing a way to usher in his glory. Don't be deceived by the enemy. I pray that your eyes will be opened and enlightened and that the sound of awakening will descend upon you and your region. Let us become kingdom-minded and come together for a kingdom purpose to open up the gates of our cities and nation so the King of Glory can come in. It is in His presence that our lives will be transformed into what He created us to be. May every root of competition in you die right now. Let no seeds of jealousy, strife, rivalry, bitterness or division rise up in us lord kill every evil and vile work within our lives and within our hearts right now and fill us up with the fruit of the spirit which is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control may these rule and reign in all of us Thank you for joining me today. I hope you could hear this okay. This was day 14 of the position of your heart. Tomorrow, we will be on day 15. It's called God's greatest gift. Do you know what it is? Join in tomorrow and you will find out.